Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. With the rise of stronger and stronger AIs aka GPT, developers start to worry more and more about their future as programmers. And I can fully understand this. Imagine you study for five years and then AI can solve a large portion of your university exams in seconds. And while to most of us it's clear that ChatGPT has not replaced us yet, I want to share my thoughts about the next five to ten years of mobile development and what I think you should do now to stay relevant. To give it right away, I am convinced that AI will not completely replace us, but only if you consider this. A programmer should not only be good at programming. You know, as mobile developers, we're not there to just write some algorithms and push some code to GitHub. We are there to solve a real world problem. And for solving a real world problem, we need more than just code. Because the louder the problem is, the more we need to focus on properly working together with others and on understanding what the problem is really about. I have worked with a variety of clients and it happened way too often to me that the client just had a very broad requirements. And that's totally understandable because of their non-technical background, they don't think about all the edge cases we as programmers have to think about. So one job of us programmers is to read between the lines and understand what a client really wants from us, even if they don't explicitly say that. And that requires communication skills and empathy, things an AI does not have at least yet. So what I'm trying to say here is that fully understanding a project's requirements and rephrasing that for an AI to understand is a valuable skill. So I think it will become less important to solve an actual technical problem, such as writing an efficient algorithm to do something, and it becomes much more important to take hundreds of solutions to smaller problems and combine them to solve one larger problem. And now I know there will be people among you who ask themselves, what if AI will eventually be able to generate whole enterprise projects from scratch? And while it's not even close to doing that right now, let's imagine a world in which this is possible. Put yourself in the shoes of a business owner of a very large company who now takes this code and puts it into production. Would you really just take AI generated code and use it in production? You just need a single security vulnerability which results in a big data breach or so and you'll have a huge problem as a business owner. So what I'm trying to say is there will have to be developers who need to make sure that the code that was generated is working correctly. And of course yes you can always bring the argument that AI will eventually be able to generate such code without mistakes and everybody will know that but seriously that is something that will take decades if it happens at all. So what should you do now to stay relevant as a developer on the market? First of all, don't stress out. You're totally good if you're ready to adapt and change. And number two, which is the big one here, start putting more focus on your soft skills. A developer really is someone who solves problems and not someone who just writes code. And I found that the two most important soft skills as a developer are the following. First of all, communication skills. You need to be able to make your clients and coworkers feel valued and respected and understand what they really mean when they say something. And soft skill number two is selling. And you might now wonder what selling? I'm not a salesperson, I'm a developer. No, your whole life is about selling. You ask a girl for a date, you're selling yourself. You apply for a job, you're selling yourself. I make a video here on YouTube, I'm selling you this video which you pay with your time. And in the end, selling just means convincing someone to do something. And you're really doing that every single day lots of times and there are reliable techniques to do that successfully. And if this whole soft skill thing is new to you, then you might now wonder, okay, uh, communication, selling, but how should I really get these skills? And of course, getting and acquiring such broad skills really takes time. This doesn't happen overnight. So what I would recommend and what worked for me is to just read books about these things. So about communication, about human psychology, about selling, and then just taking the knowledge, the theoretical knowledge from these books and applying that in the real world. So for example, you learn a new selling technique or so, then use that and apply the next time you're trying to convince someone. This is how you can build these skills step by step over a longer period of time. In the end, technical skills are of course important, but you also need to be someone who's confident about their skills, who is able to sell these skills and convince someone that you can do the job, that you can solve a problem, and you need to be someone other people like to work with. And look, I will be super honest here, and especially if the following hurts you a little bit, you will need to hear this. If you find yourself sitting in your basement all day just coding and avoiding all form of social contact because you feel awkward being with other people, then there is no future for you as a developer. You know, I also hate approaching strangers, I hate having meetings, and I just love being in front of my computer and diving into my code. But if you want a successful career as a developer, learning important things you don't like is part of the game. 
So I really hope I could wake up a few of you with this, but the situation is only serious if you're not ready to adapt and get out of your comfort zone. So be happy that we have AI and use AI for your job to make it easier and also focus on things AI can do. And of course, I am not a fortune teller, so it can be that things turn out better or worse than I mentioned here, but this is what I currently think about AI in our future. And I'm curious what you think about this. Do you think that AI will eventually replace all developers? Let us know that down below. And apart from that, thanks for watching this video. I wish you an amazing rest of your week and I will see you back in the next one. Bye bye.